let's check out the agent story for grace and i believe this is a three-parter so let's begin the first part of grace story quest or agent story whichever you want to call it anyhow let's not waste any time and jump right into grace agent story You're about to enter immersive storytelling, yeah, like, uh, blah 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 blah. Oh, fuck. One day, Perry suddenly reports an email from Grace, the head technic technician at Bellabog Industries. The email is about an important commission that requires Phaeton's help. From the tone of Grace's messages, it sounds quite urgent. Later, at the entrance of Brand Street construction site, Later, this area is currently under construction. Only the staff members can enter. I give for Grace. You're looking for Grace? I don't think I've been told there are guests coming today. Just a moment, let me contact her. The calm bear worker turns to face the construction site and takes a deep breath, then. <laughs> Grace! Are you expecting any gas? Okay, yeah, that was kind of awful to be real. At that moment, a familiar figure quickly approached the gate. Open the door. Oh, I remember who this person looks like. This is an important part of, uh, partner of Battle Walk. If you ever see him in the future, you can just let him in. Hey, you're finally here. I'm sorry, but I need to take this call. I'll be waiting for you on the high rack. Grace leaves the entrance in a hurry. The guard bear opened the door respectfully and gestured to welcome her. Let's just sit right over here. The uh, I was expecting it to be a cutscene. There are changes to the plan. How about our collaboration plan? Ray seems to be on the phone. Wait in silence. Oh, sorry for keep, keeping you wait. I'll be done soon. New partners? Me, me. Got it. So we all have to bid for it, right? Sure. Let's keep in touch. Sorry for the wait. Hey! It's been quite a while. Last time we met was when you helped us with our runaway heavy machinery, right? Yep. Great to see you again, Grace. Have you been these days? Isn't it tough working all those commissions? You have to take good care of yourself. No overtime, you hear me? Thanks, Grace. You too. Oh, actually, every time I see you, I find it incredibly soothing. This might seem a bit out of the blue, but can I please have a hug? What? I guess a cordial hug is all right, but don't tell my sister. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. You'll never know if the hug would have been as warm and gentle as you imagine. Instead, you get to hear your sibling's familiar voice. Yeah, you can put your arms back down, bro. She's hugging Eos. Oh, this round little body, these jiggly ears. Its hardware's been modified, right? It's mechanical inside, but so soft and fluffy at the same time. <laughs> it's a crime to be so cute. I love it so much. Ah, so she was talking to Eos the whole time then. No wonder she asked us to bring it. Still more passionate about machines than people. Huh? Oh, the other proxy is here too. <laughs> Hello there. You don't have to say hi, but could you at least avoid drooling on Eos's head panel? <clears throat> Everyone's here then. Let's get down to business. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry about that. I let my work habits take over. As for the commission, hey, don't you run 
run away, little one. Seizing his chance, Eus escapes from Grace's arms while she's distracted and races back to its real master. <sighs> Happiness is always fleeting. Huh, forget it. Let's get back to the commission then. So that time we dealt with the runaway machinery I mentioned a bit ago? Thanks to Faithen, Bellabog eliminated the potential threat to the project. My sweet pea, uh, our president, also got to let go of some emotional baggage. So it was a really positive outcome overall. But if we instead turn our gaze to the company's balance sheet, we've actually suffered heavy losses. Right. Remember that, Wise? The commission was to retrieve three runaway industrial machines. But in the end, the monster appeared and absorbed them all. Yeah, yeah. I remember. We, uh, ended up losing the three machines originally allocated to the project. And despite unexpectedly retrieving the prototype, we haven't been able to put it to practical use yet. Oof. So, to make up for the loss of those children, Bellabog Industries has agreed to cooperate with the industry leader Three Gates Corp on a small project. We'll provide some technical documents in exchange for some of their heavy machinery assets. And for this commission, we'll also need your support in awakening the prototype's logic core, which contains the data we want to exchange. Can you explain what just happened with the call? Ah, that's someone from Three Gates saying that another company is also looking to partner up with them. They'll probably end up using the one offering higher technological value. <sighs> it's no big deal. Anyway, the ins and outs of this commission are all there. We'll go along with your preferred style of cooperation. We're counting on you, Faithen. Okay, okay. But please, just give Eos a break. Okay. Grace's Frankenstein. Right. So I'll just hit right over here. Does that mean map? Yep, to be HDD. No. Oh, brother, that's oh, time for some tail care. Hold on, what's, what's the electric ice? Okay, touch my tail and uh, no. Um, Ready for combat. Mm, time for some tail care. I'll bring in okay. Alan. I shall follow your orders. And I'll bring in. Standing by. And me as well. Even though she's under level as, as, as of this very moment. Wait, I'll just bring them in. Brother, I didn't expect to... I really have to level up some of these characters to level 60 already. The prototype's logic core is old and uses a ton of energy. Mm -hmm. So, I've retrofitted this kid with an ether storage battery. I need your help gathering enough energy for it. I'll flag any energy carrying etheric material. All good? I'm counting on you. Got it. Whoa, that little guy up ahead. Is that child just wandering around in the hollow? Master, a small obsolete transport vehicle has been discovered. The routing information in its core database will be useful in expanding possible exploration paths. See ya, little guy. May we meet again. Fixed right up. And so easily. Impressive. Next. Wow, 
It just rammed that theory. Is it trying to help us? Okay. Closing in on it. We gotta stop it. Warning. Multiple ether signals detected. Likely enemies. Twitch. Okay. Is it just me or is the ground moving? That's that's a lot of ethereals. Be careful. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. Wait, how about? Now we just... Can I just switch sides? Let's see what else I can use around here. Bollocks. Well done! Okay. Switch. And up. Two more. Energy storage approaching maximum. Nearly there. Funny, the problem is there's like a lot of... That's a lot of interviews. <sighs> oh wait. How about? Switch. Bingo. No, I have to press the button right there, but never mind. One more. Whoa! Getting corruption warnings on the controller. Uh -oh. We better work fast, Faithen. What? Oh, wow, that one's powerful. Okay, that's a big one. Wait, what are you doing, little guy? Oh, thank you. That's the last of the energy. Anything. The energy collection is almost finished. Nice. Finally, all charged up. Warning. Mm. Abnormal ether reaction detected. What the hell? Uh. Wait! Don't run away! I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Move to plan B. Got it. You are about to enter the critical stage of the commission. Please note that once started, you can no longer explore freely. Continue. Keep the enemies huh? at bay while I start a debug. Okay. Hopefully, Alan can get the job done. And I kind of want to push with Grace though. You see the fact that she's a non-limited character. Oh dear! Gotta get hit! Hit! 
Up in achievement. Yeah. Ah. I'll help this time. Trump, moving up. Yikes. Cool ones gotcha. The defenses are still holding strong, but there is no sign of evading from either the invading ethereals or the Arapanji heavy heavy machine base. Wise, nearby ethereals are growing in number. Grace, are you done with the troubleshooting protocol yet? Emergency removal of control permissions is still in progress. Give me a bit more time. Oh yeah. Warning, ether activity rapidly accelerating. Speculation. A particularly large ethereal unit, or a large group of ethereals, is approaching. Master, have a guess. This is hardly the time to be fooling around, Fairy. Wise, tell Grace to get out of here. Detecting permission ownership, processing the switch, disabling cloud invocation, matching admin keys. And she's Almost not there. listening. Almost. Uh oh. Grace, watch out! Oh... A streaking noise tears through the air besides Grace. That we love to them fast. Some big gun firing? Who's attacking the Ethereals? Warning. Unknown individuals approaching. Unknown individuals? A fierce hail of bullets hits the helpless enemies who fail to find cover and to them fast. A modded Guardian Mark II tactical mech? Oh, wow. You can uh, tell it's modded with just one look. Seems like you're not completely off your game, Grace Howard. The Ethereals won't stay subdued for long. Let's talk outside the hollow. Uh... Okay. Mission complete. A short while later in a safety zone out of the hollow. We made it out of the hollow. Are you okay, Wise? Grace? 
I'm okay. How is Grace doing? Well, despite a few hiccups, <laughs> the troubleshooting is all done. Ah, fiddling around with machines while surrounded by monsters. Good to see that your morbid determination has never changed. Oh, right! I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you so much for reaching out to help despite all that danger. Mmm, thanking people. Huh, that's a marked improvement. I've seen others similar to you, but you're truly one of a kind. Finally, a compliment from you? Eh, better late than ever, I guess. Hmm. The more I look at you, the more beautiful your curves are. And the sheer power you contain. Huh? Mm, wait up. Flattery's one thing, but I think you've gone a little too far. Ah, uh, where have I seen this before? This may be weird, but... Can I please pet you? Oh. What the... Are, are you crazy? How could you ask something so rude? I mean, just a handshake would have been fine, but... I'm sorry, I just can't help it. Just hang on, let me get mentally prepared for that. The young stranger waves her hand and closes her eyes in the belly, steaming herself for what's coming. Grace passes her like nothing and goes directly to the legs of her tactical mech. Oh my my, does this coating give additional insulation to the hull? Oh, and I bet the power supply inside has been upgraded too, right? I can hear it just humming with power, grunting, I love it! Uh, yeah. That girl looks frozen solid. Well, maybe she's actually quivering? And her face is so red. Why, should we go check on her? Oh, I thought you changed at least a little bit, but I was majorly wrong. You're still infatuated with machines and ignoring people around you. The frosty cold iron witch, Grace Howard. Hmm? You're this kid's mechanic? Pleased to meet you. Your child is really powerful. Ugh, shut up. We've known each other for ages. It's just mm. you never took me seriously because of your twisted values. Huh? We know each other. But I can hardly remember seeing such a cool modded guardian mech like this before. Could you help refresh my memory? <sighs> I am talking about me. Let go of my work, you mecha addict. <laughs> No. I somewhat empathize. Sorry, habits of the trade. Could you please tell me your name? Oh, or tell me about this kid's corpus data. Hm. As expected, you really don't remember me. That's fine. I'll just have to mercilessly beat you in a tech battle. Huh? Beat me in a tech battle? Oh, you're the second technological partner Three Gates mentioned, right? Yes, I, Betty Brenda, am your opponent. Oh. And I will beat you in this bid. It'll be a total humiliation for you and Bellabog. Later, Brand Street Construction Strike, you got EU's back. It's pretty steep already. We made it back safe and sound. Thanks to your guidance, the kid has now calmed down. I think she's okay. I didn't see any injuries. What am I asking is, are you okay with her? She seems to be our rival bidder. And she says she knows you? Who knows? I can't remember much of it. Compared to her, I'm more concerned about my kid's logic core. If the awakening in the hollow went well, I should be able to extract data from the logic core now. Let's call it a day. Can take use home. I'll examine the hall when I get back. I'll get in touch with you guys if I have any updates or need your help again. Grace's gaze returns to the machine the moment she says goodbye. Mission complete. Back to the video store. Use Symposium In 
and discover we live in the same dome the whole time. <sighs> you really messed up, Grace. If I were ready, I'd be, I'd be just as angry. No, I'd be even angrier than her. We have rules, it's the technology, it's the holy land of blah How could I have any energy level for socializing? Anyway, I'll put that next time I'll see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grey's current obsession with machines is already unusual. Hard to believe she's used to be even more extreme. But it must be tough for her to see her former classmate become her rival now. I hope we'll never find ourselves in that kind of a situation. True, her extreme obsession is what drives her extra extraordinary accomplishments. She's already the tech director of Bellabot Industries at such a young age. She's indeed a genius mechanic. Her commission isn't over yet. Let's cooperate with her when she's made some progress in her research. In the meantime, we can attend to other matters first. Agent Story completed. A new episode of Grace Agent Story, The Iron Witch 2 is now available. That took like what? 26 minutes? Okay. Let's continue on with the Grace Agent Story. And from the look and I I would save to it's safe to assume that every part is gonna be it's gonna take me like about like about 30 minutes so i'll probably will get it done in about one more hour so anyhow let's just let's just continue on with the the grace's agent story um one day after accepting grace's commission in the parking lot of the random play video store on the sixth street Gainer's Quarter, New Eridu. Today is the day for an important family event, repairing the business car. In truth, only one of their siblings is actually repairing while the other is resting. Attention! <clears throat> Attention! You have received an email from Grace Howard, the head technician at Bellabo Industries. AI Causing the music for car repair to broadcast the contents of the email. Um, wise, well, this is Grace. Are you too free by any chance? I already extracted enough data from the logic core. We're now ready for the next phase. I need your help with something, but this time it's kinda special. I don't need Phaeton to make an appearance, just you two. If you're free, we can meet up at the old spot, Grand Street construction site. Email ends, crafting reply, outing our pass. Today is an important day. We need to repair our car. See you next time. Please say send if you wish to send this reply. <laughs> no! Fairy, are you trolling? Are you trolling? What the hell? You arrive at the destination, the large mech emits a low drum. <laughs> quick! What about the little one? We need to wake him because we're not heading into any hollows. We don't bring EOS on non hollow commissions. It's better to let it rest. Uh, too bad. If I'd known, I'd have come up with an excuse to make you bring him along. Now you're not even trying to hide it. The large machine next to her steps back and forth to one side, Good seemingly kid. less. Don't worry, these two aren't the bad guys. Have you booted up that logic core yet? Going well? Don't worry, it's only partially booted for now. After the last troubleshooting session, I've managed to fully filter out the data and divert control of basic functions away from the dangerous infected data. Now I just have to wipe any sensitive data left behind regarding the prototype, and it'll be ready for the delivery to Three Gates. Fairy, uh... Fairy, can you help with clearing that sensitive data? Negative. All logic cores that pass the Forbidden Fruit test 
i.e., the core systems of AI-enabled machinery, are incompatible with my protocols. Forced intervention can have unforeseen consequences. Oof. Also, I prefer not to interact with ether corrupted data. Really, Barry? Barry's power has a limit. What are the terrible consequences of accessing data corrupted by ether? I've prepared 10 disgusting metaphors to explain it to you. Huh? Which would you like to hear first? Note, human tolerance is limited to about 10 on the disgust scale. So, what's the score of the least disgusting one? 11. Ah. Uh. How about we get back to the commission? How about we get back to the matter at hand? This commission doesn't require your faith in disguise. You two alone can handle it. I'm going to debug this kid's cognitive command system. Only a few basic protocols are needed to set up a link between commands and its behavior. Put simply, I'll issue commands like go left, go right, touch this, touch that, and you'll need to follow my instructions in front of it so that it understands the connection between the commands and the actions. Once mm -hmm. cognition is established, act out the commands from the kid to help solidify it. It's like teaching a toddler how to crawl or stand up. Got it. I'll run some system tests on this baby first. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Step one for cognitive tuning is to calibrate command functions for this child to make sure is receiving accurate commands. Basically, all you have to do is touch either a wooden box or a metal bucket, and he'll recognize the item and then send the corresponding signals back to my control terminal. The child agreed to return a red signal when a box is detected and a green signal for a bucket. You know, the most complicated system often starts with the simplest intentions. Now, your turn. Just touch the box or the bucket. This wooden box is built like a tank, typical Bellabog heavy industry style. Great. Now, iron bucket. This should be green. And next, initial calibration is complete. It's a great start, but today's class isn't over yet. It's now time for some basic testing of the logic function. Just follow the sequence we agreed on. Red, green, red, red, green. What kind of a strange thing is that? Now we've got to touch the box or bucket in a certain order so the kid can tell you if you're following the rules. Signal recognition, forming cognition, building rules, and executing judgment. That's the red, green, red, red, green deal. Your turn, proxy. Red, green, red, red, green. Means. Wooden box. Iron bed. Iron bucket. Wooden box. The box iron bucket. After running a series of commands, Grace finally announces that the cognition system has been successfully calibrated. Great job! Well done! The cognitive commands have been recorded with precision. My only regret is that my little cutie Eos couldn't make it here today. <sighs> The whole point of setting up this scheduled maintenance was an excuse to see that roly-poly kiddo running around. Grace, he said the quiet part out loud. Uh. All right, the controls have been sufficiently calibrated. Now I'll perform a full reboot to test the effects. Is that gonna be okay? What if there's another rampage? What should we do? No problem, I'm fully prepared. Right. I've dismissed all the onlookers and kept the kids' fuel to a minimum. And Bellabog Industries has updated their health insurance recently. Uh, you have accident coverage, right? Huh? Why so many precautions and contingency plans? Doesn't seem like no problem to me. Don't worry, I'm a professional technician and I've got everything under control. Let's get started. 
Grace taps the control panel a few times and the uh, well. too damn fast. The control system permissions are operational. Let's start the first cognitive command test. Go five meters forward. Command unfulfilled. Repeating command. Go five meters forward. The mech remains standing still. That's strange. Why isn't it following my commands? Unless... Unless it really is broken? Uh-oh. Quick, wise, hide! The battery in my control panel is dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no wonder this kid's been so quiet. It wasn't ignoring my commands. It couldn't receive them. <laughs> False alarm. Aye, aye, wise. Aye. Let's agree, Grace never gets to touch Eos ever again. Agreed. And all the other Bangboo at home. I need to get a backup power supply. Keep an eye on this kid for me, would ya? Its cognition systems are still fragile, so don't provoke it. And don't let anyone get close to it, including yourselves. Huh. I gotta run back to the video store. So this one's on you, bro. Hey. Soon, the only thing that can be heard around is the low drum of the heavy machine base run. It is what? The test site is a mess. Let's have Grace tidy things up while we're there. Uh, that wooden box sure is sturdy and looks pretty heavy. Maybe it turns out to be a workout. After some effort, they are successfully moved. Moving this bucket is even more challenging. It is a bit harder than you expected. You need to include more physical activity alongside gaming and work. Uh, that sound. Is it the heavy machine base? Let's go check. The heavy machine base continues to produce instructable. Don't panic. The cognitive unit hasn't received any input commands for a while, so the machine's just running a system diagnostic. Oh. Betty? What are you doing here? Hmm? Have we met? How do you know me? Yeah. Grace mentioned your name. Ah, uh-huh. I see. So you're the Iron Witch's apprentice, aren't you? Which is why you're keeping guard here. Why is the system diagnostic showing such a strong likelihood of startup? Could it be? As she's saying that, the young mechanic you cross path with before strides up to the machine base. Stop! Grace said it'd be dangerous for outsiders to get too close. Outsiders? I'm an expert technician. Her machines usually have a soft reset button placed at the back. If I'm able to get there, I can... Uh-oh. That's definitely not a good side. Oh, no need to be so paranoid, you scrap heap. I am here to save you. Once she draws close enough, Betty suddenly dodges and does to the rear panel of the mech, slapping a button hard. I have a bad feeling about this. I knew it. There was a repeat air loop during the self-diagnostic. Onboard memory was getting sapped, so a soft reboot did the trick. <laughs> it's all because of her. Insisting on the stupid logic core is what has caused the problem. Logic core? What's wrong with it? The logic core is a precious technological breakthrough that grants mechanical creations the ability to have independent consciousness, potentially even enlightening a machine enough to pass the forbidden fruit test and be truly endowed the soul of an individual. However, this kind of technology is not required for production tools like industrial machines. I admit that the efficiency and work capacity of Bellabog's heavy machinery are superb, but the cost of production and maintenance is going to be out of this world. Oh. Unfortunately, buyers on the market love pursuing these unnecessary and uncontrollable gold-plated features, so the industries followed suit and started researching personality tools. 
L let me ask you. If you want to make an axe that chops wood faster, will you equip it with jet thrusters, AI systems, and a voice that yells at you, Master, Master, every time you poke it? No. Hmm. Perhaps that is a bit excessive. Listen up, Apprentice. Tools are just tools. Their value lies in being easy to get, easy to use, and easy to replace. Use them while they're good, and chuck them out once they're broken. Personifying or putting them before humans is heresy. And that's exactly the type of person your teacher is. She's mastered new applications for personified operating systems, and in doing so, has grown contemptuous of humanity. She's just a weirdo obsessed with tools who gets things backwards. Okay. Betty speaks with emotion and slaps the heavy... What? Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Huh? How is it moving again? That's definitely not a good sign. H hang on. Stop right now. I was being careless just now, not hostile. Yep. Not a good sign. Ah! Abort startup. A familiar voice taps the heavy machine base, causing it to return to standby mode. That was a close one, but luckily I caught it. You, didn't I say not to provoke this kid? Mm -hmm. Betty, what are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> yep, nothing. Just uh, here to inform you. Three Gates Corp has officially recognized my company's application for tech cooperation. And, well, only one of us will be granted resource support on the evaluation day. Be forewarned, Grace. I see. Well, thanks so much for passing on the message. If there's nothing else, I'll keep tweaking my little problem child, okay? Oh, yeah. And as for you, thanks for your support today. I'll give you a call when I need a hand next time. You can head off now. Wait, that's it? Having said that, Grace quickly walks over to the heavy machine base without looking back and focuses on her debugging work. Uh, see that? Something might have happened just now, but she clearly cared more about the machine than her own apprentice. That's the cold iron witch I know. But it's fine. I'll soon let her know to never take people lightly. Nobody seems to notice the sound coming out of the phone in Betty's pocket. External data download complete. Go back to the store and talk to Belle about what happened today. That should do that. So Betty and Grace had a spat over their different views on, on machines. Gee, I should have stayed for the drama. <laughs> According to Grace, she might contact us again before the press conference. That should be the last contact. Once we handle it, the, this commission will be considered completed. I'm getting more and more curious about Grace's past. How about we have a chat with her after the commission is done? Maybe we'll dig into some juicy gossip. Woman. Oh, so that's the end of part 2. Yep, that's the end of part 2. A new episode of the Grace Agent Story, The Iron Witch 3 is now available. And I believe, yeah, chapter 3 is, or should I say part 3 is the, the final part of The Iron Witch. Let's jump right into the final part of The Iron Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most likely we'll be jumping right into combat mode. What's Betting doing there? Three CCTV images retrieved. She appears to be talking to an officer and judging by her body language, they were engaged in a heated discussion. Two, they were quietly arguing. 
suggestion to better complete Vase's Harvest Commission, Master should learn more about this conversation. I just really want to know, AI has a right to gossip too. Woman. Okay, I need to know what's happening, even if it's just for the sake of gossiping with my sibling. <laughs> so I should be fine if I just go over here, right? Okay, make sure the meeting point is safe. How many times do I have to repeat this? Uh, are you Grace Apprentice? What are you doing here? One sec. Maddie whispers something to the officer again and then turns around. So, what brings you here? Does the Iron Witch have a message for me? Just passing by. Hmm, you got way better manners than your master. Fine, there's actually no better time for you to be here than now. I happen to have a message for your master. She's already lost this bit. Huh? What do you mean? I've completed my research and already submitted the res results to the to three gates for review. You will soon hold a presentation to demonstrate my results. I'm the first to hit the target. Go back and tell your master she's welcome to attend the presentation. I'll post the address on the Knock Knock Business Channel. Please make sure she checks it. Our long time rivalry is finally come to an end. Don't let your master run away from the ending. Please tell her what I said. You soon. Betty turns and leaves as soon as she finishes speaking. Okay. Go back to the store and talk to Belle about what you just learned. She's right inside. Really, Bell? Really? Very. Please don't speak like those people on the on the not. Wise, we should text Grace and tell her about it right away. If you're not there, then who's reply? Quit flittering around with those children of yours. We got big news. She also says she's gonna win the bid and has invited the, the three gay straps to a meet and greet. She asked Wise to pass them on the... The address is in the Dark Mob Business Channel. Inside a hollow? One of the three treatments from Gate Scope is military. If the attack co cooperation is based on the military, that makes sense. How about the Grizzly on the go? It'd be a big loss for the Bella to miss out on its speed. Knowing your enemy isn't always the worst thing. Besides, we can check out this new tech in action. Can I call on YouTube for navigation? Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready whenever. Right. Confirm. So... Into the Hall of the Dive. Touch my tail, and uh, now. Mm. Standing by. Mm. Time for some tail care. Head made Rena at your service. 
this may be a long battle but anyhow let's just freaking go let's just freaking go and once i'm done with grace's um agent story i definitely need to level up some of my characters to level 60. meanwhile following ferry's navigation everyone is finally brought to betty's location Beside her stands for more than you're too slow, Iron Witch. Betty, I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech, upgraded for Core Logic OS, Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at six o'clock and nine o'clock. Following orders. What? The mag responds in clear human voice and instantly performs a complex array of tactical motions. Is it AI enabled? Is it AI enabled? Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS! The maintenance costs are half what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fretted about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. <laughs> the cold and withdrawn Iron Witch, a weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. With a roaring hum, the mech completes its tactical maneuver before returning to Betty's side. Task complete. I suggest switching to auto defense mode. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one millionth as professional as me. Ahem. All right, Barry. Don't add fuel to the fire. Wise. Is Grace okay? <sighs> Grace, are you okay? That voice is so lovely. I can't believe she just caved like that. Well, no, of course she would. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements. And the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only listed one default command when recommending actions. And still so immature. I love it. Enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? This kid looks really good. Grace, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Wait a moment, Grace. Don't fall head over heels for your rival's work. Oh. Uh, yes, I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me pick it apart myself so I can see better. You know, the more what? you say, the sketchier you get. Why would I let my rival disassemble my work? But, well, you do have a point. I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks! Uh, but this doesn't mean I concede. Wise, I'm starting to worry Grace is gonna switch sides. Oh. This is the meeting point Betty mentioned. I didn't expect this kind of company. Prepare for combat. Let's go. Yes, yes. Activating combat mode. Oh. Brother, Grace is such a 
wild character in a sense, but... I said that took a little longer than I expected. I hope nothing happens when the three gates reps arrive. Money, money, money. All right, Witch Hunter Alpha, enable escort mode. Take out the ethereals up ahead first! Orders received. Suppressing with force. Uh S one more and then oh. No valid targets remaining. That was fast and so accurate. Don't compliment your rival. <laughs> Oh, I am just getting started. <sighs> Which warning, units with high ether activity detected ahead. They are likely strong enemies. A direct confrontation is not suggested. Scanning for a suitable detour. High risk ethereal slot. Commencing annihilation. Uh, it rushed off just like that. Incredible! Such a powerful hit! Hey. Feedback saved to data table. Detour route cancelled. Warning. The area ahead contains many unfinished buildings. Uh -huh. The path forward is blocked. Strategy modification is required. Scanning for a suitable detour. And then this robot's gonna Uh does it wanna force its way through? Now, that's surprising. Detour cancel. Can everybody hear me? I've decided to give you a special demonstration of the long-range firepower of Witch Hunter Alpha. The personalized operating system I've built is more precise than your version, Grace. You can command it effortlessly. Witch Hunter Alpha, destroy hostile units ahead! Open fire! Oh boy. I have a feeling this might lead Open us into course. fighting against these robots. I'm getting that feeling. Huh? It missed? No. It's still. So you could tell. Right? Now, correct. 
it can identify the best target to strike. Oh. Interesting. None. Oh. Special event. Relying on Wing Shutter Alpha Superior Firepower, Mobility, and Response Speed, the group soon arrives at the location to them for us. We're here. Good timing. The Three Gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <clears throat> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech with strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse engineered to such an extent in such little time. Mm, uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat. Ho <laughs> ho! Not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away. It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. Huh? What? Grace approaches Witch Hunter Alpha, now in defense mode, and when it's ugly system eliminates her, she says... What? Witch Hunter Alpha, how high should the driver's seat be set? I have neither a cockpit nor a seat. Your question does not make any sense. What? What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 140 centimeters. <sighs> After listening to Wish Hunter Alpha's response, Grace's expression suddenly grows serious. She quickly leaves the mag, deliberately bypassing the targeting system's dead zone. Uh. Seat height? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. What? <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I've deployed in our prototype. Oh. Hey, 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 no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you asked a useless question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 centimeters. That was Coleta's height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabog Industries, Coleta's father and my mentor, Horse. When he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific seat height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. <laughs> On the way here, I realized Witch Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industries mech, could know this by default, because my sweepy gets mad if the seat is set too high. How did... You and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. There's still lots of corrupted data that needs stripping away. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data, and we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Get ready would... to fight the robot. No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up? Fine. I'm ready to fight. Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. Red, box, green. Now can, what are you up to? Box, box, can. Box, box. bucket. Box, 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 box bucket. bucket. Yeah. Huh? How, how are you speaking in unison? Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. So Betty stole the data while we were troubleshooting. Bingo. Warning. Hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. 
Go, witch hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch. Seriously? The sharp frame of the tactical map moves, holding its heavy cannon. Oh, huh? And targeting its own mechanic? Betty, watch out! <laughs> Hostile targets locked. Commencing pursuit. The robot targets its own mechanic. Yep. Just like Grace said, the big Proxy, robot is off is out of control. Which is her alpha? Stop! It's lost control. After it! One, yeah, there's more. Up. It's just a simple mistake, a, a little hiccup. That child is your heart and soul, right? Hurry up! Yikes. Hit that guided bit. Has it stopped? Uh. I've updated the target for the guidance module. You're just a machine. You dare defy me? This is what? It dodged it? Witch Hunter Alpha, enough now! Do as I say! Stop! And the robot has officially lost control. <sighs> right. Activating combat mode. That, that's the gigantic bo robot, right? No, no. Why won't you 
Don't lose your head. Just get after it. Nope. That's not the gigantic boss. Robot! Sorry. What am I saying? Warning. Increase in engine output detected. Uh oh. Very well then. You forced my hand. Now, set the explosives along its current trajectory. Go down! It's still moving! Why? Why? Right, let's go for it. You're about to enter the critical stage of the commission. Please know that once started, you can no longer explore freely. Alright! Let's beat this robot into a bloody pop. The target's hull has been damaged. Ether activity is steadily increasing. Well, that's, that's not a good no sign. We're not doing enough damage to stop it. Oh, oh gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you. You're that child's mechanic. Uh, you know it inside and out. Think about how to solve this problem. The logic core is already corrupted. I, I can't command it. What's Pull that sound? Together. Now's not the time to be pessimistic. Oh no, those mech attacks keep getting stronger and stronger. Are there any software vulnerabilities we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think quick. Run. What? What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized your data framework. I just build a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I... I don't know how to deal with this situation! Let's run! Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it, and it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts! So, what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that? Oh, she ah. pissed. And that shook me up so much. I almost pressed the wrong button. Why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're facing an experimental weapon that's out of control, and our only control tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the HIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense. Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations. You're that child's mechanic. It's your responsibility to deal with it. Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? Grace has a point though. Betty's shrewd expression gradually collapses beneath the anger of Grace's rebuke to the past. I, I, I don't know what to do! <sighs> Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core while it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. But that'll be almost impossible unless some magic happens. Frosty Cold Iron Witch. Uh, huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Right. Wait, I'm still dealing with this too. Ready and waiting. I 
I found you. Perfect timing. Confirmed. Races of um, ultimate the main control systems damaged. Now's the time. Betty, give me the control panel. What here? Cut autonomous order percentage. Switch permissions to G44. Cease fire control radar module. Change power distribution to manual. Restart energy pump. Uh oh. Ah, uh, too slow. It's logic core is out of control. We won't make it. Is the soft reboot button in the middle of its frame? Yeah. Wait, you want to try a manual reboot? Uh, wait, please. Uh, she might. definitely do it. Uh, isolate and disable weapons. I. It's done. Huh? <laughs> Ray's got the move though, I will say this. Paralyze. Right here. Oh no. Race. Uh What? Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what a good kid. Welcome back. Hmm. <sighs> 
and I believe huh okay mission complete After a short while, PubSec forces work together with weapon experts from Defense Force and dispose of Witch Hunter Alpha. Yikes! I never expected those PubSec agents to come so fast. I didn't get a chance to appreciate that kid's insulation coat as much as I would have liked. What a texture, despite all the battle damage. Ahem. You worked some real magic. You really are a witch. Turns out, Grace isn't really a freak. She only acts like one because she's a consummate professional dedicated to her field. Hey, that was rude. Do you think it's easy being a corporate technician like me? Especially considering how young I am. As an apology, I'll let you give me this cute little thing to pet. I mean, research for a few days. Ahem. I'm afraid I have to refuse. We can't give you Eos. <laughs> huh? As everyone comes down, the three gates corp ra the rest for Betty. Who then pass? <sighs> Betty Brenda. If you want to laugh at me, be my guest. I've got nothing to say. Great job constructing that emulated control layer. Huh? The voice print conversion command was so good, I almost got fooled. <sighs> Even though the incomplete data framework caused lots of operational errors and low efficiency, there's still lots of room for improvement. If you're interested in personality OS research, I can give you some sample data from our prototype. Of course, you'll have to wait until your suspension is over and Ooh. you've regained your mechanics license. Yikes. <sighs> I lost completely. Yikes. <sighs> Good luck with your technical Suspended and license hard. revoked. Yikes. The young mechanic follows to them for you. You're still willing to give her sample data. Proxy, have you heard of horsepower as a unit of measurement? It indicates how many horses would be required for an equivalent output of force. Industrial yeah, machinery usually has a horsepower of several hundred or several thousand. Don't you think this is a real boom for horses? Because these machines end up saving hundreds of them from the pain of manual labor. People are just the same. An industrial machine can save dozens of engineer teams from hollow related danger, and a tactical mech can save several combat squads from having to face ethereals. And me? Actually, I can't say that I simply love machinery. All I'm infatuated with is the prospect of saving humans from getting ruined inside the hollows and sparing their families all the suffering and grief. I may have destroyed many times the machines that my peers, indirectly or otherwise, have. So that's really why I'm a witch, you know? Even if it makes me cry out in sorrow, I still have to send these kids out there to face fatal threats. But if there were more witches like me in New Eridu's future, just a few more people willing to care for these machines and shed tears for their sacrifices, well, maybe these kids would be more willing to forgive us for what we expect of them. Grace takes up the heavy machine base back with her for checkup and repairs. Uh, now we finally wrapped up Grace's commission, I should take Eos back to the shop and take a break. The commission is over without a glitch. Bit work wise. <sighs> You've seen a very cool side of Grace this time. Turns out Frosty Cold Iron Witch isn't a degrading nickname. It's an honorable title. Also, no one gets injured in the end. Nothing beats that. Wise, what's your take on this matter? Should tools be just tools? 
is there any point in us attaching other feelings to them if we are nice to them so that it'll be easier for us to dump them later does that make us kind or heartless hmm I don't have the answer to that it's indeed difficult to pick a side after all, people must have something they firmly believe in behind their choices. Anyway, this commission has finally come to an end smoothly. Let's take a break and get back to our routine. And that's the end of Grace's story quest slash agent story. Well, I gotta say, that's very, that's a very interesting um, character story quest to say the least. Probably even more engaging than the ones that Genshin and Honkai Pro Honkai Story provided as a matter of fact, but it's probably just my personal opinion. And if every single other agent stories are as entertaining and engaging as this i wouldn't mind checking out every single one of them to be very honest and as a matter of fact right i'm just waiting for bernice's um agent story or slash character story quest to be available but i'm feeling that it will be available in about a few weeks time from what i understand because i've already done the, the main story for version 1.2 I've played done the, the flash event but still not a there's I don't see a sign of any Bernice's story because I really really wanna check out Bernice's story quest uh, matter of fact. but if Grace's story quest is this entertaining and engaging it's gonna prompt me to check out other characters to uh story quests but the um, i might check the, the next one i might check out is either bernice's one or i'll get in well, i'll wait for bernice's story quest i might check out probably um rena's to see the fact that she's my second um s friend character that i pulled in zelda zone zero so i think i might do next the, the next one that i might do might be rena's uh it's just story but We'll see how the situation is. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy my playthrough or walkthrough of um, of Grace's story quest so far, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Anyway, and that, that, I think that's pretty much uh, wraps up uh, this video for today. My name is JT. Have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video.